Gildan Media presents Your Coach in a Box, affordable, life-changing audio programs. Fifty-two Mondays: The One-Year Path to Outrageous Success and Lifelong Happiness by Vic Johnson, narrated by Derek Shetterly. Introduction: A lot can happen in a year. What have you done since this same time last year? Chances are you can think of many new life lessons, mistakes, victories, and losses because a lot can happen in a year. In my case, there have been a number of times when a year made a huge difference. For instance, in 1997, I had a family of five to support on just fourteen thousand twenty-seven dollars. But three hundred and sixty-five days later, I was earning a six-figure income. For the doubting Thomases, I'm happy to supply a copy of my tax returns, since truth can be stranger than fiction. In 2002, I wanted to attract the woman of my dreams. I even went so far as to write down all the qualities I wanted her to possess. One year later, I met my Proverbs 31 love of my life and married her five years later in a storybook wedding. You can see the YouTube video at bit.ly forward slash Vic and Lisa. The 1991 World Series was chosen by ESPN as the greatest of all time, but both teams who played for that championship, the Minnesota Twins and the Atlanta Braves, had both finished last in the preceding year. Up until that time, no team who finished last in the previous year made it to the series the next year, and here were two who had gone from worst to first. A lot can happen in a year, which is very important to remember as you begin this journey with me. Now ask yourself: If you'd started something new and worked on it every week since one year ago, what might have you been able to accomplish? Twelve months, after all, is plenty of time to start accruing success. For example, if you had written one thousand words every week, you'd be close to completing a novel, or you could have published several how-to e-books. If you had taken in one music lesson per week, you might be approaching a level of proficiency. If you had taken one day per week to start a side business, You could be entertaining the possibility of quitting your job. If you've ever seen the 1994 movie *The Shawshank Redemption*, a warning, spoilers ahead. You know Andy Dufresne, played by Tim Robbins, understood the geologic concept of pressure over time. Red, played by Morgan Freeman, said in a voiceover, "That's all it takes, really: pressure and time." Red wasn't talking about geology. He was talking about Andy tunneling his way out of the prison over twenty years, getting. Sample complete. Ready to continue?